Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Parker is super interested in science, biology. Uh, I want to become a doctor and a gymnastics teacher, and we are going to dissect a salamander. A salamander, that's right. So Jessica found this really cool kit, and it is a salamander dissection kit, and it's not a real salamander. Uh, it is like made of goo or something. Yes, and we have extra goo up here. We have some extra goo? So your siblings will get to try this out too? Yeah. That's awesome. Jacob and Duncan are still at their grandparents' house, so uh, they are not going to be doing this with us right now. They're coming back later tonight, and Bailey is in a different class, but uh, Parker and I are just gonna work together on dissecting a salamander, and uh, I just think that's super cool. I've never seen something like this, where, where you get to do a dissection experiment, but not on a living animal, on a, on a, a model, basically. And also there are two. Um, oh, there's a frog one and a fish one too. Mm -hmm. Cool. The two packets. Oh, cool. Would you want to dissect a real animal? Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you know that I've done that? Yep. Yeah, in school I dissected a frog and I think a sheep's brain or something like that. A real. One. Real ones, yeah. It's very educational, but I could see how some people would not want to do that. So I'm glad that this option exists for people that maybe don't want to dissect an animal. A real living animal. Well, it wasn't alive when I, it was already dead. Yeah, but like, uh. It had been alive. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. All right, so the plan is you take it out of here and you put it into this tray here and you have your instruments right here ready to go. Oh. Oh my goodness. That is a slimy salamander. How do I put it in the cat? You just you just kinda like set it set it in there. Like that? Uh the other way. It's gonna go belly up. Oh yeah, there you go. It's like jello, but doesn't smell like jello. Smells like I don't know. Sand that's been rotted? Rotten sand. That old rotten sand salamander smell. I don't know. Your first cut should be in the middle of the ventral side, which is the underside. It begins below, that's the posterior, the back of the jawline, all the way to the tail, caudal end of the salamander. So you're going to start right an incision here. there and work your way around, down, all the way down the tail. Now at the top and the bottom, you're gonna do two lines like this so that you can open up your salamander. And here? Mm-hmm. Now you're gonna use your scalpel and your probe and you're gonna open it up kind of like, like two flaps so that you can get to the stuff inside. I don't know how to do it. So you're gonna just kind of yeah, you're that? gonna like peel it open. There you go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is satisfying. <laughs> satisfying? Very satisfying. Okay, this is weird. Is this what inside of my body feels like too? Oh, I feel the bone. I see the bone. And this is not like a real surgery while like you have to go really, really fast. And right. plus, this would be dead if I was doing it. And I'm not that old enough. So. Well, I'm old enough to do like this, but like not college stuff. Would you call this like an alien frog? Or what would you call it? I would call it an amphibian. I have no idea what that is. It kind of looks like a lizard, but it's an amphibian. It's a it's a creature that can live in the water and on the land. Ooh, what is that? This one. You think it's 13? Not 10 or 11? Yeah, I think it's 13. 13 is the kidney. Let's learn about the kidney, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. The kidneys are flat oval shaped organs on the lower part of the salamander's body cavity. So did you get it in the lower part or up here? Uh, right here. Oh, okay, that might be something different. That might be the lung or the liver. Maybe should we take the pieces out and then discuss or? Um, That's either a lung or a liver. Let me take a look at it. What is this? This to me looks like it might be the lung. We'll compare the organs and see if we can figure out which is which. Ooh, interesting. Or blue. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else we can find. When we find two of the same thing, then, then I think we're pretty sure we'll have the lungs. That to me looks like the kidney, because it's down there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you found the kidney. Okay, so the kidney, since we know which one is the kidney, they filter the blood and excrete excess water. Then they are carried out to the other organs to get rid of them as urine. The lungs of salamander are simple and have sac-like shape. They are different from our complex spongy lungs. The lungs receive a large amount of the total blood from the heart of an adult salamander. Most species of sal salamanders take in oxygen from gills, lungs, skin, and membranes of mouth and throat. So they get their oxygen from a lot of places that are different from us. The liver is the largest organ in the salamander's body. So this must be the liver. So what were we looking at? So that's the lung. The okay. blue thing's the lung. And this is the liver. That's the liver. And then the small thing there is the kidney. The liver takes toxin substances in the body that are harmful out of the blood. It also stores energy in the form of sugar. Oh, what'd you find? It looks this. like this is three different organs. This is the digestive system. Here we have the stomach, the small intestine, and the large intestine. Where's the and heart? And what is going? this? Is that the heart? Yeah. This is. It came off of it here, right here, I think. Whoop. The heart of a salamander has three chambers: one ventricle and two a atria. The blood is pushed from the ventricle to the lungs and the skin to take in oxygen. This is not very effective compared to our hearts. This diagram here shows the different parts of the heart. Okay, so should we like, what should we do? And you might need to do a little more digging. Okay, I think I got my digging school, school thing. Look at this. Oh, well, that's a big chunk of salamander. Ooh, you exposed a lot of its tail. Mm-hmm, I'm looking on its tail right now. I'm dissecting a salamander. Like, what the heck? I bet I can just take salamander out. Start shaking. Just let it drop. Ah! The head Did its skull fall off? <laughs> oh the goodness. head just popped off. I was like, yeah! Whoa. <laughs> Everything is just like falling apart. So those are the legs. And you have the spine. Spine! And what fell on the ground? Can you get what fell down? So then you have the other set of legs. How can we tell which one's The which? tail. And the head. Wait, I think there's, there's stuff in the head, though. You might need to get out your surgical equipment and probe around in the head and see what you can find. Whoa. That was cool. Whoa. I think that's representing the brain. Whoa. The brain and the eyes. That's a weird brain. The amphibian brain is less well developed than that of reptiles, birds, and mammals, but it is similar to that of fish. Salamander brains have some parts similar to our own. So the front part here, these, this part here is the olfactory. Olfactory bulbs of the brain. Do you know what olfactory is? Mm -mm. Your sense of smell. Oh, so that is control of the smell. Can you find the eyes? Right here. 
here. Good. And then behind the eyes are the ocular muscles. The right there, that's the brain. Oh, and they connect by this. Mm -hmm. Do you think you could put all of the pieces back together? Yeah. Let's see you do it. I'm really close to finishing. Finished. You got it? You got all the organs in there? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Excellent work. Thank you. Do you think that Jacob, Duncan, and Bailey would like this kit? Yep. Should we reset it for them? Yep. Okay. Look at this. That is a lot of goop. <laughs> is that your favorite part? Yes. Bailey still here, so I'm gonna go show her. You'll be playing with it tomorrow. Cool. So Parker did the dissection project, but he thought you might want to do it too. So we're going to reset it so that awesome. you can do it also. And you're not quite at the age where you can play with it yet. But someday the salamander is back in its position in the mold. And Parker's going to pour some gel into some warm water. Jacob and Duncan are on their way home and it's nighttime. This guy just took his bath. Look how clean your hair is. Look how clean your hair is. Are you gonna brush your hair? Ooh, so fancy. So handsome. You wanna brush your hair? Brush your hair. Oh, good brushing your hair. <laughs> good job. That's some good hair brushing. Whoa, oh, 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 careful, careful. That's, that is uh, too aggressive. Very good hair brushing. Good job. Oh, are you gonna brush daddy's hair? Can you brush daddy's hair? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, brush daddy's nose. Don't eat that hairbrush. Yikes. That is not a toothbrush. Feel the smooth cotton curtain. Oh, there's a kitty. Meow. Oh, is that smooth? And who's that in the shiny mirror? I'll give you a hint, it's Luke. All right, night night, I love you. We have arrived! <laughs> the boys just got back? They How was Grandma and Grandpa's arrived. house? It's so good, I loved it so much. <laughs> and I got my new pajamas. You got new pajamas? <laughs> pajamas, I got 14. <laughs> I cooked some food. You cooked some food? Yeah. I cooked cookies. broccoli cheddar soup. Parker Red dissected rules. a salamander. I? He dissected a salamander. Wanna do like it? A real salamander? No. No, it was a model of a salamander. Oh. But, do you wanna do it? But we have another one in the fridge if you're interested. In the fridge? Yeah, we reset it. Look. I'll explain later. Allow me to say that I watch Catching Fire. What's that? Really good, so. Oh, Bailey watched the second installment of I saw the, uh, what is it called? Hunger Games. The I Hunger did. Games oh, trilogy. So I was, me and Grandma saw the seventh uh, Star Wars movie. I was going to show her uh, special effects, like, to explain what happened. And then she's all like, I just want to watch this. <laughs> so we just watched it. Did you like the Hunger Games? Yes. And how, how fulfilling was the end of the second installment? How dare you talk about the ending of the second installment? That's the problem with trilogies. The second installment's always like, eh? Like the end is like, what's gonna happen? Right? Yes. So now you're, now you just, you don't know. You don't know what's gonna happen. I know what's going to happen because I read the book. Oh, solid plan. I'm gonna sleep for a Stop little flipping. bit so be quiet. <laughs> You're going to sleep? Yeah. Okay, it is kind of late. He brought the blanket over so we can cuddle on the stairs. I shall sleep. All right, we're so happy to have you guys back. You can say hi to Luke in the morning because he's sleeping. But I'm glad you had a fun time at Grandma's house. We did. Oh my God. You didn't go. You didn't go to Grandma's yes, I did. house. I had a great time watching Catching Fire. It was good. 
I I also watched Princess Bride when that happened. Oh, yeah. Did you like The Princess Bride? Mm -hmm. You saw Princess Bride? I have so many questions for you. Did you like it? Yes. Was it good? Yes. Guys, it there's movie? a monster on the knee poo. Oh. Called Dracula. Huh? <laughs> what? There's a... There's a monster in Winnie the Pooh called Jack. And also, I saw t Mr. Tushman. Wonder. So Mr. Tushman from Wonder is in The Princess Bride. <laughs> <laughs> and he definitely did not recognize him. Yes, he looks a lot oh. different than Princess oh. Bride. He does not have a beard. He does not have glasses. He does not have gray hair. Um, <laughs> he has... Um, um, black hair, he does not have a beard, he does not have glasses, he does a lot more tricks than I knew he did. <laughs> a lot more sword play? Uh, a lot more sword play and also aerials. But and which did you prefer, Princess Bride or Wonder? Wonder. <laughs> and what's your favorite movie? Um, Wonder. Inconceivable! My favorite movie is still Wonder. I love it. It's my I can't favorite. Decide Can you tell me about the monster that's in Winnie the Pooh? Well, he doesn't show any eyes. Doesn't show any eyes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. His eyes is complete to the, to the hair. Is it a scary monster or like a nice one? It's a uh, scary. Mm. Uh, it was gonna kill uh, um, uh, um, uh, Christopher Rock for Robin, but Christopher Robin's friends will g Catch Jack. Yeah, and then he, they will get um a net. Is this a movie that you saw or something you uh, imagined? Uh, the uh, owl was the very f funny one because he said, "Come back to." That was the friends, and then owl said. Come back soon, and 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 Jackson is very similar. Okay. <laughs> so what happened in the end? Were they all saved from Jackson? Uh, I think so. And Jackson was trying to kill Winnie the Pooh. No, no Christopher not. Robin. <laughs> he was, he was trying to kill <laughs> Christopher Robin. No. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I gotta go make a phone call and find out Bye. what my mother was showing Bye. our three-year-olds. <laughs>